Welcome back to Plan B on YouTube. Today we talk about Bitcoin's new all-time high, the halving, cycles and a spectacular new prediction. Please subscribe to this channel because it really helps me to get this content to more people. So the first chart, stock to flow. Bitcoin closed this month at $71,000 and that's 10k up from last month and a new all-time high. Uh, and that's well, quite interesting because it's before the halving. So we have an all-time high before the halving. It's the first. Um, yeah, so basically we have a triple top as well. First top in 2021, early 2021. Second top, uh, a higher all-time high in October 21. And now, just before the, the halving, a new top, a triple top. So that's that's really the first time that ever happened. What we also see is that Bitcoin uh, value is roughly at the stock to line, stock flow uh, model line, that that gray line, um, and and that's always the case. So that was the case in the 2020 halving. That was the case here, where blue switches to red. That's the halving when this this gray model line jumps uh, eight to ten x. Uh, that that's the halving 2016, and here again in 2012. So it's always that Bitcoin is at the model line just before the halving. And well, this time also like clockwork. There's one more blue dot to come. Uh, the color is months until the next halving. So one more blue dot uh, till month zero. That's uh, April, the halving month. Um, and uh, the May month will be, will be the first red dot. And from there, red dots is uh, here. We count down uh, 48 months, or actually it's 46 months, until the next halving in 28. So the flipping from, from, from blue to red will be in May. And yeah, so the big question is, what's next? Well, I think it's inevitable that we reached 100k this year in 2024 and probably a lot higher than just that 100k 100k we're we're very close to that level now and and well if the the bull market is anything like like we had seen in history then uh, we we will have a steep increase in price uh, from here 100k this year um, note that this this model line, the stock to flow model line, jumps in April to uh, roughly five hundred thousand, which is the average um, overnight uh, the, of the average uh, price uh, la level in this halving period. It doesn't mean that the price will jump overnight in May or April to this five hundred k. It usually takes a couple of months. And, and here too, you see that red dots, it takes a couple of months, almost a year to reach that, that model line. And that's what I think will happen this time around too. So the next top will not be in this year, 2024, but in next year, 2025. Um, and that top will uh, be, yeah, well, some people talk about 200,000 200, as the next top. You can see from this chart that that would be very underwhelming. Um, and in fact, from a stock to flow perspective, we need uh, an, a top that's much higher than the average 500K. So let's say six, seven, maybe 100K or a million to reach that average of 500K. So the top will be higher than 500K in 2025 if well, that's, that's what I think. Next chart is cycles, market cycles. And we see the second red dot color here is um, the market stage. Accumulation is blue. Uh, red is the bull market. We're in red right now. And this is the second red dot. Um, so yeah, from here, I think the red dots will continue like they did last time and in this bull market and the 2013 bull market, it will continue for 
well, say a month, uh, a, a year, could be a little bit less, could be a little bit more, but, but let's say a year, so 12 uh, red dots. And um, it will, there will be volatility too. I mean, that's very important. It, it won't be straight up and no, no, no dips. There will be multiple minus, well, 20 or 30% dips. That's very normal. And um, yeah, the best thing to do is not to panic at those dips. Personally, and this is not financial advice, of course, but personally, I will do nothing uh, for, for the next, let's say, 12, 12 months. And I will reassess when the market phase switches from bull market to distribution yellow. And until the yellow, I don't do anything. Next chart. RSI. Let's look at some technical indicator. So RSI is a technical indicator. It, it, uh, it shows you when a stock or a currency, or in this case, Bitcoin is overbought, and then the relative strength indicator is high, or when it's oversold in the bear markets, um, when the, the RSI is, is relatively low. And we're at 77 right now. And that's the highest level ever before a halving. And that's very interesting because what we've seen so far is uh, uh, the halvings. That's, that's when blue turns to red. That was here and here and here in 2020. The RSI just before the halving was getting lower from 70 to 65 to 55. And that's in line with diminishing returns. So the fact that we're now at 77, which is the highest level ever, um, could mean that this is a first indication that the diminishing re returns will not be there. And we will stay in an exponential return growth uh, path, uh, which is, of course, what I think and which will, would be in line with the stock -to flow model. So very interesting what this month, uh, the halving uh, month, uh, April, will do, and what next month, uh, the first month after the halving, will do. So the switch from blue to red, at, that, at what RSI level that will be. And, and if that's higher than last three halvings that's that's very interesting and and as i said uh might be an indicator of uh, not um, having diminishing returns this time another technical indicator is of course the 200 week moving average um that's the black line the black line 200 week moving average is 33,000 right now and rising and that 33,000 can be seen as a floor. Uh, in a bear market, it can breach that floor. But in a bull market, uh, around the halvings, that that 200-week moving average is uh, is a real floor. And, and, and Bitcoin price will diverge from that 200-week moving average. So it's maybe getting less interesting right now in the bull market. and uh, but But at least you can tell... Or I, when I hear people say that Bitcoin will crash to 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, yeah, that's not going to happen. I, I, I just shake my head and, and, and think, well, no. So better to look at on-chain indicators in the bull market, I think. And one of the most well-known is the realized price. Realized price, the black line at the moment is 29,000 and it's rising fast. And that's always the case in bull markets. So in bear markets, it it's, it's levels out, it's, it flattens. But the uh, realized price uh, is, is, is really rising faster and faster in bull markets. And that's what we see right now, or at least the beginning of that. And that's, that's very... Um, yeah, confirmation of a of a bull market. I think it's better to look at the two-year uh, realized price. Why? 
because, because that does not include the 1 million Satoshi coins, the first 1 million coins that were, um, yeah, that are in the realized price against a price of, well, zero. And that, that, that's dragging that realized price down. So two year realized price is, in my opinion, a better indicator. And that's at 44,000. Uh, 44, uh, 44,000, yeah, and I think that's an, well, converse, a conservative floor uh, in bull markets. See, the dark blue line here in a bull market, Bitcoin price in red never goes below the two year realized price. Same here, the red dots are always above the two year realized price. So, um, 44,000 is is really, I think, the conservative floor. And if we take a little bit more risk, we look at the five-month uh, realized price. That's the short-term holder uh, price. And it's at 60,000 right now. 60,000 would be the aggressive floor. Because uh, if we look at previous bull markets, then you see that the red dots, the Bitcoin price, don't go below that that even even that five months realized price and here too in this you, you see the little dips but the floor is the five month uh, realized price and that's at sixty thousand right now so that's my personal aggressive floor that i think we will not go uh, below again next indicator is realized return. Realized return is what sellers make uh, when they sell, and the sellers in in March uh, made more than sixty percent, and that means it's red, more than sixty percent, just like the February sellers, and that's a confirmation of a bull market. So, selling at sixty percent or more return, that's really, uh, yeah, bull market territory i watch this very closely because when that switches to blue or even green that might be an indication that the bull market is over or that we might be mid bull market and then we have to look at other indicators to confirm or uh, or deny that for now all looks good and of course the same is true if we look at bitcoin in profit that's 100 percent at all-time high levels Everybody's in profit, and that will continue for a couple of months uh, if history is any guide. Okay, please subscribe to this channel because that really helps me getting this content to more uh, viewers.